Hello guys and welcome back to another Tweaker Man video. Now, I was telling you that I'm going to be 50 this year and I was looking at buying a new phono preamp but because of this COVID-19 thing or the coronavirus, what we call it, um, it's cost me a hell of a lot of money, uh, lack of work and everything. So um, I've been looking for an upgrade power supply for the uh, Edward Audio Apprentice phono preamp that I own. Um, it's basically a very cheap phono preamp but it was it, the reviews from what i find a lot of other magazines are really good on it so um and they don't make an upgrade power supply for it so the cheapest alternative to for me to instead of me buying a new phono preamp which i wanted is to get an upgrade power supply so i searched around and searched around and eventually i found someone to make me one and this is it here it's turned up now i've cut the sides off uh, I haven't actually, I've opened it, but I haven't actually unpacked it at all, okay, so this is it, you're the first people to see this, um, there we go, now this is an unusual um, preamp because it's a 30 volt, and everybody I contact, nobody makes 30 volts, but I, so I had this custom made, um, so we've got here, we've got a uh, power cord, which I won't be using because I'm uh, I'm going to be making an upgrade power cord for it, as you know. I, I, that's why I'm called Tweaker Man. So basically, we've got a uh, this is a European power cord there. Well, actually, that's a European one. Um, not sure what that one is. Oh, that is the UK version. Yes, it's the UK version. But um, I won't be using that. Um, this is the DC cable. Connector, uh, this is oxygen free copper, I think. So, this is something I may be able to upgrade to uh, a silver. Um, we'll see how we go. Right, okay, so let's just put this to one side here. I'll move over because I haven't actually looked at this power supply. I mean, this power supply is huge compared to if you look over here, this is the uh, Edward Audio Apprentice, it's a tiny phono preamp. Um, I'll put the oak cones on it, which you've seen in the previous video, um, sprayed them black put it on there so this is the um, this is the power supply here so we're just going to open it up I'm not going to plug this in so you won't be seeing that um, all I'm going to do is just show you it I paid uh, I paid 160 pounds for this which was uh, I thought quite reasonable in a, in a sense compared to what it would have cost me to get a new phono preamp Although obviously a new phono preamp of around about a thousand pounds would be better than this setup, but as um, as the situation we're in, I've had to uh, make a few um, decisions, and uh, we've uh, we've gone for this for now. Um, so look, this is very well packed. It's got like a cellophane over the top of it, like a um, undo that and see what's inside. Now this has had all audio file components in the inside. I spoke to the guy through uh, through the internet, and he assured, assured me that these are all audio file components. This is a um, a linear power supply, so it has a corridor power supply inside it. There you go. It's called a zero zone. Right, let's get that out of there. It's quite heavy, but very well made, very nice piece of equipment. Okay, we've got a fuse in there, and I know some people think upgrade fuses are a, are a con. You're entitled to your opinion, that's fine. But um, I'm going to upgrade the, uh, the fuse and I'll upgrade the power cord as well. So basically this is going to... Uh, sit under here i mean if you've seen me making my new upgrade um so that's not actually going to go under there so i've got a new isolation table that i'm going to be producing that goes with um that goes with my new uh plinth that i've made um which you've seen in my previous videos um so this this is going to um that's going to go underneath the new isolation table or it will sit on the new isolation table you'll see when I build it and, and in fact in a minute we're going to go into the studio 
I'm just going to show you a couple of bits that I've been working on and up and coming videos and uh, we're going to be doing a giveaway soon so uh, let's go out there and then uh, we'll uh, we'll show you what's going on right okay I'm going to talk about the giveaway last so basically um, what we've been working on is some isolation feet for the uh, for the turntable so this is the foot that I've been making there's the uh, the bit there that goes over the top of there now this has had some rubber it's like a rubber webbing it's called Pirelli webbing if you know about upholstery you'll know so basically what I've done is I've cut I'll show you so this is our block here I'll come around here this is our block so this is how this started okay this is how this started so I was after that sort of slightly industrial look to it as well as it being a suspension foot. So basically this, the Pirelli webbing acts as suspension. So that goes on there. We have a bolt that goes up through the middle there. And then it just screws into the bottom of our, of our plinth. So that's going to give us nice suspension. See that goes up and down like so. Okay, now this is, this is it in its raw form without any holes drilled in it or anything. So we're going to show you how to make one of these in a video coming up soon. So that's that's what I've been working on um, so far. Got another another project on the go. Now this this is going to be the um, the isolation table for the uh, the turntable. Now this is going to be the dog's kahunas. Trust me. Okay, big pieces of balsa wood like that. I'm not going to say any more. I'm going to leave it for your imagination. Okay, and then you will see it coming up soon. We're going to be making that. And the part to go along with that, this is all a part of it. Is this nice piece of oak? Now this is an oak balustrade, solid oak for your staircase. Very heavy, really strong. It's going to be great for this project. So that's that's another thing that I've been working on. Um, so now to the giveaway. So. Uh, I noticed one of my subscribers uh, saw me on Facebook because I commented on uh, on a piece, and his name is Ivan from uh, from Bulgaria. So hi, Ivan. I've uh, I've already sent you a cable for free. I just sent it off to him because he was very kind and very nice to me on Facebook, and and, and loads of other people have subscribed to me because of that. So basically, I'm going to give away four lengths of 2.5 mains cable. So this is the mains cable here. Um, I'm going to do this in an up and coming video soon in the next week. Um, this is a um, a, um, a bare copper wire. Um, it is PVC insulation. I used to sell this in my audio business. When I ran my audio business I sold this. This has a um, a double copper braid. So there's two, two layers of braid there to shield it. And it has a twisted geometry through the middle and then it's covered in like a, uh, a, a sort of a polythene uh, sort of uh, barrier line or whatever you call it I'm not entirely sure what you call it now I can't remember now and I'm, I'm used to know all the specs on this but I chucked my business in my audio business in well I ended in uh, 2011 so it's a long time ago now so I'm not entirely sure but this is a a uh, four mil conductor and the actual um, earth wire is actually six mil, so this is a this is a quality cable, and this is very good for powering amplifiers, um, and especially good for subwoofers. It really improves bass response for your subwoofer. So basically, so look out for that. Uh, if you've got any friends that um, they're interested in audio, don't forget to uh, get them to check my channel out and subscribe to me. So. Uh, We've got that. Uh, we've been doing some work on the studio in here. Um, we've tidied it up quite a bit. We've, we've been building some different stuff and that, which will come out in another video. Um, so for now, um, I'll, um, I'll say goodbye, but I need to do another video on the power supply for the uh, phono preamp. And I'll explain how good it is and what the improvements have made to the, the, the phono preamp. So for now, I'll say goodbye. Uh, so thank you for watching another Tweaker Man video. If you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe and don't forget to give me a like. Cheers. Thanks very much.